an investor looking for premium market opportunities. Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. A very good morning to you and welcome to the ASX of Breakfast. I'm Rachel from Calkine in Sydney. The Australian share market is set to fall at the open. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.1% fall. Now, yesterday, the Australian share market closed 0.05% lower at 7,252. In business news, News Corporation reports that revenues in the quarter were $2.45 billion. That's a 2% decrease compared to $2.49 billion in the prior year, reflecting a $98 million or 4% negative impact from foreign currency fluctuations. Commenting on the results, Chief Executive at Robert Thompson says a cost reduction drive includes taking the difficult but necessary step of reducing headcount by an expected 5%. They now anticipate the program will yield at least $160 million in annualized savings by the end of calendar year. Property listings group The Rear Group saw their revenue decline 3% to $269 million in the third quarter, with earnings down 13% to $136 million. Revenue rose 2% in the nine months through to March to $887 million from a year ago. Rear Group Chief Executive Officer Owen Wilson says, while interest rate uncertainty continue to impact the Australian property market, conditions have improved with the stabilization of house prices and more vendors returning to the market. And Propel Funeral Partners has executed binding legal documentation to acquire two funeral service businesses and related assets, infrastructure and real estate, for up to $41.2 million. This will facilitate Propel's entry into a new metropolitan market, that being Sydney in Australia, a new regional market, Southland in New Zealand, and the company is also expanding its senior debt facilities with Westpac to $55 million, by $55 million to $255 million. That's an increase of around 4.5 years. Now, together, the businesses will perform approximately 2,400 funerals each year from 12 locations. And this will generate around $18 million of revenue each year. It's time for a break now, but stay tuned for more news set to affect the trading day. Build better relationships, get connected, heard and noticed. We always believe in getting you the best. Calkine Media's growing platform, Calkine TV, helps you connect to an inquisitive audience from across the globe. Interact in a trusted environment. Showcase your brand on Calkine TV in a seamless and effective manner. We connect and curate content as per your business needs. So why wait? Write to us at guestteam at calkine.com.au. Welcome back to the ASX of Breakfast Report. Now, the Dow Jones dropped 0.66%. The S&P 500 was down 0.17%. The Nasdaq Composite added 0.18%. Across the Atlantic, European markets closed mixed. London's FTSE lost 0.14%. Frankfurt fell 0.39%. While Paris closed 0.28% higher. In Asia markets, Tokyo's Nikkei closed flat. Hong Kong's Hang Seng lost 0.09%. Well, China Shanghai Composite closed 0.29% lower. That's all for ISX Breakfast Report this morning. Have a great day trading and stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. I'm Rachel signing off for now.